Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Do yourself a favor and hit that like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Uh, we have a couple of earnings that are coming right out of the gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to air them to you live as they come, okay? So uh, stay tuned. Let's go right into the earnings. Make sure you check out all the links below. And uh, yep. Here we go. Numbers are out. The stock is popping after hours. Let's go to Steve Kovac with the numbers, Steve. Yeah, John, it's popping because of beats on the top and bottom line. Solid beats at that. Let's go over EPS, $2.99 versus the 265 Street was looking for. Revenue is also a nice beat there, $56.52 billion versus the $54.49 billion the street was looking for. Digging through the report now, John, get, get you some Azure numbers and other stuff to look at in a bit. Well, uh, Adam, I was just in the process of asking you about this. We have the stock, at least on this initial uh, uh, headline, moving higher by more than 5%. How much is this going to matter once again for the markets potentially tomorrow? I think it's crucial. So I, like I was saying, the first week and a half of earnings season was underwhelming. The numbers that we got this morning um, were a lot better. And so I think the bar now has been knocked lower because of how the season started off. And if the results continue as they did this morning, and Microsoft is a good example so far, obviously we have to wait for the conference. Well, you guys could see that it after hours, they had a beat Microsoft did um, on both uh, top and bottom lines, according to what they said. As we could see here, Microsoft uh, up 4.6% after hours, okay? And um, I'm going to go right in to Google as it comes on live. All right, here we go. Hey, Morgan, Alphabet more than 6% in the after hours, though it is a beat on the top and bottom line. Third quarter revenue coming in at nearly $77 billion, exactly coming in at $76.69 billion versus $75.97. Billion. So a beat here. Also on the bottom line, EPS coming in at $1.55 versus $1.45 expected. What may be hitting the stock are these cloud numbers, guys. I'm just going to give them to you because I have them. Uh, $8.64 billion was expected in terms of revenue. $8.41 billion came in. That is a little bit of a miss there and could be the reason for some of the weakness. Remember that Google does not give guidance. We'll continue to dig through this and bring you more. Back to you. Okay. Those shares are down 5% right now. Dear Trebosa, thank you. Mike Santoli, I'm going to go back yeah. to you because we got Texas Instruments. We got Microsoft still going through some of the. So now let's look at Alphabet. Alphabet is down 4.5, uh, 4.45%. So Alphabet is actually down and Microsoft is actually up. As you can see, let me hit refresh here. As you could see, Microsoft is up. So now Microsoft had a um, uh, revenue beat of $56.52 billion versus $54.50. So they beat it, right? That was a beat on Microsoft. They were looking for $54.50, but they came in at $56.52. That's what happened with Microsoft and then with Google. Um, um, Google missed on their cloud. They had one 0.55 versus 1.45 estimate, all right? So uh, Alphabet, aka Google, their cloud brought in 8.41 billion versus 6.64 estimated, right? And so there you have it. There you have it, good people. Uh, everything is coming through. Uh, it was an interesting day in the market. Uh, the indices closed um, all a little higher. Let's go back to it. As we can see, the Dow closed at two, uh, 228 uh, points. S&P is up. NASDAQ is up nice and green, leading in uh, to uh, earnings. So these earnings kind of uh, averaged out each other, it seems like. Um, um, you got a beat on one and a miss on the other, as we could see here. Let's see where it is now. Microsoft now up after hours, 5.52. Of course, the conference calls are coming and uh, these numbers could move like it did with Tesla. Look at that. Almost the polar opposite, right? 
So you got uh, Alphabet down five, here we go, 5%. And then you got Microsoft up 5% uh, on the after hours according to their earnings, right? And uh, let's just take a look at old Tesla. You remember what happened with Tesla, right? Elon kept talking and he sounded very subdued. He told us to lower our expectations. So as we could see here, it went up 2%. Let me get that dialed in a little bit better for you. Boom. There we go. And uh, so let's take a look and see what's going on. Snap just reported and we could see there from Snap, Snap forecast Q4 revenue of 1.32 billion, right? To 1.37, as we could see. Um, Snap is up 16% after hours, after closing bell. So Snap just snapped. You know that cartoon, oh Snap. So look, it is, it, it snapped. Wow, Snap was the dark horse here. Let's listen for a little bit. Relation between the two companies, Snap is notoriously inconsistent in terms of quarterly results that they post. Um, so it's really hard to say. You know, Meta, Alphabet, TikTok, uh, and then Amazon are really kind of pulling away as far as online advertising is concerned. It's really concentrated in those companies. So if you want to really get a read on Meta, I think Alphabet's going to be a much more important, uh, more accurate barometer than Snap. Um, so it'll be really interesting on the call. And it looks like the advertising businesses at Alphabet perform decently. It's more just the cloud business that underperformed. Um, but Alphabet, I think, is much more important to, as a read across for the whole industry than Snap. Yeah, he's right. Alphabet was a much bigger read across the board. Uh, it is uh, a bigger company than Snap. Of course, sometimes the you know companies like Snap are the ones that are the dark horses that a lot of people wish they were invested in all right so let's take a look here so let's look at bitcoin as we could see bitcoin actually came up right it hit almost thirty-five thousand, as you could see here 34 8 so almost thirty-five thousand, right and so um i i made a uh, a boo-boo today i bought it at its top and uh well not necessarily a boo-boo today because uh, in the Discord, I bought some Mara just for a quick in and out. It was like so quick, ran up like 70% and then it reversed. Hopefully some people took profits. And then what happened was, as you, as you could see, look, it was at the top of the channel, right? And then Bitcoin starts to uh, reverse. Of course, the crypto mining companies started to reverse also. But that does not mean that it won't reverse again and um, uh, retract and go back up, retrace, should I say. So let's just keep an eye out for that right now. Uh, some of these plays are so quick. By the time you, you know, make a snapshot and, and try to bring it, it moved and that one moved quick. So let me explain something really quick when you're doing options, especially if you have an expiration date that set out, you know, a week and beyond. A lot of times, first thing in the morning on a positive catalyst, right? You'll have a run up in the morning. Uh, so what I generally do on options is I will sell it. Uh, once it gets above, you know, 30%, you know, sometimes 20 to 30%, I'll just sell it in the morning. And the safest thing to do is just to wait until the late afternoon to start uh, establishing your positions back in that has worked for me uh, more often than not. I would say, say probably 80% of the time. But then when you do that morning chase, it always comes back to bite you. So, you know, hey, you live and you learn. OK. All right. So that's what I want to talk about. Bitcoin. And then uh, these are some of the headlines that I just snapped on my phone. Alphabet reports 11% revenue increase as growth returns to double digits. But as you could see, Alphabet, a.k.a. Google, is yet down because of the cloud, right? Remember, they missed on the cloud bigly, as uh, someone says. All right, so then let's go into Microsoft. Microsoft pops 27% as uh, Azure growth accelerates, okay? So now, let's go back and let's look at where we are at the current time. 
as we can see now, Microsoft is at uh, 4%, okay? So now, remember, we still have the earnings call that this could fluctuate after hours, and then Google is still negative 5%. As you can see, after hours, it fell, all right? It fell down, all right? And then Microsoft is still up about 4% after hours. So they're just kind of uh, inverse one another, right? So I'm going to leave it right there so I can get this up right quick. I wanted to report this in real time. All right, good people. So, hey, just just remember that um, with Moomoo now you get 16 free stock, but they have also added for those of you that have not deposited a minimum of $100. They've added a free stock of SoFi and you still get your five free stock. If you deposit $1,000, you get 15 plus SoFi. That will be the second link below in this video. And then the top link, of course, is stock up you. Learn what I know. Learn everything that I know. And yes, we will be adding some more lessons to the class at no additional cost. We're going to get into some crypto also for those of you that don't know. So make sure you check out at least the top two links below. And then, of course, we have the stock squad. Let me see if I can pull that up. Bam. There it is. We also have the stock squad, the squad with the stock. Come and learn about our plays. OK, that will be the third link below on this video. OK, I'm going to leave it right there. Good people. We got a lot going on uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. OK, live, love, laugh and learn.